Welcome back everyone, Jules here. Thank you so much for tuning back into our channel. Today we're gonna to be going over part two on how to detail your boat. Part one focuses primarily on the cleaning products that we use to keep our boat sparkling clean. Part two is gonna focus primarily on those extra storage units that's really hard to get into and keep them mold free from any mold and discoloration. Adam and I get asked a lot of questions on how to keep those key components of your boat free of mold and discoloration while you're out on the water. Truth is, the fact of the matter, when you're on the water, it's really hard to keep those areas dry. So we have some tips and tricks of what we use to prolong that process a little bit more. In addition, how to get those scuff marks out of your boat that sometimes take a little bit extra elbow grease to get it out. So if you're ready, let's rock and roll. are going to happen whether docking your boat or trailering it inside sometimes they're a little bit harder to get out but by using your paint reducer we have found it's a lot easier just to use a little bit of elbow grease just to get it out here for you sometimes you want to do it circular you are going to have to put a little bit of strength into it but as you can see it comes right off. And there you have it. For those of you that own a Roballo know that the head compartment of the boat, for us women, the bathroom area, does have a problem with filtering out the water inside, which over time, a collection of mold and moisture can arise inside of the area. What I like to do is I like using a pump sprayer to use in the room so that you're not in a room of chemicals. Um, if you are enclosed in this area and you are using bleach, please keep in mind that you will inhale those fumes. By using a pump sprayer, you are avoiding that. So what I like to do is I like to spray around in the areas, make sure you get all of those details. And then at the end, you're going to come and see the finishing product once all of that has been sitting in there and setting for about 10 minutes. So we just got this new brush and broom. It's um, the Surehold. It is the soft yellow tip. Surehold does have a different kind, um, a variety of different kinds of brushes, styles, and sizes. This is just the simple soft yellow. It does come separate with a 60 inch pole. They do have different sizes. I believe the next size up is 72 inches. Six inches was more than enough for Adam and I both to use. It makes it very easy for cleaning the bow of the boat as well as every other part of it. And it does have a long extending tool in which you can use. The grips right here have finger holding areas with which it makes it easier for me to clean. They do have it round tips where you don't have the finger holds. I personally like them myself just because my hands are so small. It helps it from slipping out when I use it. Boat. 
How you doing, baby? You're doing a great job. Love you. Oh. All right. His foot is hurting. I gotta go back inside. So, my foot has actually felt better for the last couple days, but I was not gonna miss up on a chance for the wife to clean the boat. That's never happened before. So, if this continues to keep up, I think uh, I might have to, you know, sprain my ankle every other week. That's how you get your wife to clean your boat. Well, it looks like she's all cleaned up, and so am I. Don't forget to like and subscribe.